What's up, Droners, and welcome back to The Void. My name is B, and today we're doing a drone review. I normally don't play with these kind of drones, but I'm excited for this one. It is the Isheen E52TX, which is actually sitting right here. Looks like this. And what we're gonna do today, and the reason we're playing with this is because they just sent it to me. And they were like, this is a cool drone, and you should tell us how cool it is. So I've gotten to play with it, and I agree with, the, with them on some points, and we're gonna talk about that. Um, but first off, I'll tell you a little bit about the drone. It is a very small, what they call a pocket drone. I don't think it actually really fits. It would fit in my pocket, because like, here's like an iPhone 7, and here's the drone, and it kind of folds up, like so. As you can see, it folds. And then it is actually smaller than the phone, but it's actually it's wider though. So, you know, depends on how you use your pockets, I suppose. It can fit in a pocket, at least maybe not my pocket. Um, either way, um, the drone has a little camera on it, but I don't, uh, I'm actually gonna avoid using the camera for this uh, review simply because I normally do camera drones like with real cameras, and I don't think that's really gonna work for me. Um, but I don't think this is what this drone is for anyway. For me, this drone is very much so like a starter drone, mostly because of the price. This drone is like 30, 35 bucks. Like, that's it, $35. And what you get with $35 is an RC controller that looks like this. You get a drone that looks like this, and you get one of the batteries that looks like. Wait for it, this. So, and a charger. Um, and the controller actually comes with a little uh, clip stand that goes right here. Um, I left another room, but like I said, I'm not gonna do the camera thing today. Um, but it just holds your phone pretty much. So your phone can also live stream, it has latency, um, a little bit of latency, but we're not gonna play with that because I don't wanna do that because I wanna play with the drone itself because that's what really matters to me. So this drone is pretty cool in the sense of, like I said, it's small, it's compact, it's easy. Um, it is toted as being able to fly for eight to 10 minutes when you're not using the um, actual uh, camera side of it. Like you're using the camera, filming the camera, and also streaming the Wi-Fi to your phone, then it goes down to like, uh, like five minutes. Um, so another reason why we're gonna just fly it, to fly it. Um, I think this drone is really, really good. It may be really, really good for like first time flyers. Um, because it's actually super stable. I'm gonna show you guys, and it's really easy to use. Um, there's a couple of things about it that were confusing for me at first because of how the instructions were written, um, but after you figure it out, this thing is like super easy. Um, you literally just stick the battery in it, put it down, hold the button down, and turn it on, and it's on. And then you just turn on the, the remote, that's it. And now they're connected. They stopped blinking, like the lights were blinking, now they stopped blinking. It's actually connected and you can fly it. And the weird thing is, is to fly it, like with most drones, like DJI drones, you go down and in on both of the sticks to start it. And on this one is out, which I took me a while to figure out. See? And then, it's pretty stable. That's why I'm flying it like literally right in front of my face. Um, I really like it. We're gonna take it outside to see what it can do. So, let's go play. Alright, so I'm outside with the Isheen. Um, it's really easy, like I was telling you guys before, to turn it on. All you have to do is turn on the drone first. As soon as the drone turns on, all the lights on are gonna blink, 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 blink. Then you turn on the controller, and when everything stops blinking, that's when you know it's connected. Like I said before, to start it up, all you do is down and out on both of them, turns on, and then you're flying. And I absolutely love this drone for how well it flies. Oh. <laughs> It's hard to think about what I'm talking about and fly at the same time. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. So as you can see, it's pretty stable. I let go of the controller. I can switch the uh, the trim on it, and make it more a little bit more stable. But I don't mind correcting. Uh, pretty solid little drone. Like you can do all kind of fun stuff with it. And does that. Because who doesn't like flips, right? You can go either way, because why not? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. And this is like a really good drone, like I was saying before, to be able to learn how to control a drone. So as you can see, you can go forward, back, left, right on the right stick, just like with even the more expensive drone, the same thing. Left stick, you go down, it goes down. You go up, it goes up. And if you want to spin it in a circle, that's how you do it. Trim makes it really hard to spin it in a circle, but we kept it safe this time, unlike the first time I did that. Um, it's a pretty cool little drone. Like I said, the camera does work on it. I don't care about the camera because I would only get this drone, as would anybody else that I'd recommend to get the drone to learn how to fly a drone. 
Um, and it also learns to teach you a lot about stability. So if you let go of the drone, it just goes wherever it wants to go. And you have to constantly compensate, which is a really good thing to know how to do for a bigger drone. If you lose GPS lock, or you lose anything like that, you're flying just like this dumb drone mode, which is called Addy mode on the DJI drone. And so you got to be able to say, like, I have full control of this thing, and I know exactly where it's going to go. I know exactly how to keep it where I want to keep. And if you're doing shots, then you know how to keep the nose pointed at something when you're flying around it, like I'm keeping the nose pointed at the camera right now as I'm flying back and forth. So I highly recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and it does flips. I really like flips. Who doesn't like flips? See that? It does flip. And it's actually a little bit windy out here right now. It's not that good in the wind, but it's not bad either. It's like, if you look at the size of the blades, typically that's going to tell you how well the drone's going to handle wind. Um, uh oh, see that? The wind ticket. The flight time of this is about somewhere around five to seven minutes. So far, I would actually recommend getting a couple extra batteries with it if you're going to say, this is the drone I want to learn how to fly on. Very good for that though. Um, and because of how compact it is, you can literally just keep this in your backpack and take it anywhere you are. It's just a winner. Um, and it's really stable. Like I, That's the thing about to me about this drone that's crazy is, is I've flown a lot of like toy drones. And they're not that stable nerve normally. And this one is pretty solid. There you have it. That is the Isheen. Um, this drone is pretty impressive for what it costs. Um, is what I'd say. It's very, very cheap. It's like in the 30s of dollars, like 35 bucks. Um, link below, you can get one. And uh, these things are pretty, they're pretty solid. Like I've crashed this probably three times already. You just literally saw me crash it, um, which is great. Uh, and it, it just has no problem. It's like I crashed it, I turned it off, turned it back on, and it just flew like literally nothing had happened to it. So this is a really good uh, first person drone, like first drone for a person. It comes with extra blades. That's like the only thing that you're really gonna break on these things, um, it looks like. So I recommend it. If you're like, I wanna get into drone flying, but I don't wanna spend a thousand dollars on my first drone, but I wanna learn how to fly, bam, this is it. All right, so first thing that I like to point out is that I didn't talk about this earlier, was the controller itself. Um, so a typical drone controller, just fly like you normally fly a drone, same controls as always. Um, it has buttons here. One of them is for fast mode, slow mode, um, which there isn't that super huge difference in, to be honest for me. Um, but you know, like at the same time, there is a difference. So whatever, play with it. And this one's for the flips, like you guys saw me doing. You just press that button and then you press whichever button to flip. These buttons handle all the trim. They're not actually labeled, so you kind of just have to remember which one is which. Um, trim is to be able to adjust it when it's in flight. It's like if it's moving forward for no reason, then you can actually trim it backwards and then it'll just make it so it just sits still for the most part. Playing with the trim can be a little frustrating. Normally I just compensate. Um, and then these buttons over here are the camera buttons, photo button, video button. Um, this actually, one of the couple buttons aren't um, they, um, assigned. I don't really use them, like I told you guys in the first place. Um, so that's how this works. Overall, I think it's a good deal. That's what I'm gonna say. I think it's a good deal because of the price. The price is incredible. What you get for it is incredible. Um, I think the drone is very, very easy to fly. And if you're learning how to use a drone, and how to fly a drone, how drone controls work, and how to just, you know, generally get your mind into the spatial awareness of being a drone pilot and flying things that are separate from you in the real world, not like a video game, this is, it's a good drone for that. And it's super easy. That's what makes it like really great. That's what makes me rec uh, like recommend it is because it's super easy to use. Um, you literally just put the battery in, plug it in, turn on the controller, and then it flies. And it's pretty simple. So I recommend it. I think it's a good deal. The link below will actually have links to you being able to buy them. So check them out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll be happy, happy, happy to answer them. Um, and yeah, that's what we do. Yo, Droners, thank you for watching this video. As always, we really appreciate your support. Check us out on Instagram, at DronerOfficial. We got pretty stuff there. Um, make sure you go ahead and check out our Facebook too. We post in videos, posting links there all the time to drone news that you need to know about. Um, show us that you support us by subscribing to this channel. There's a subscribe button below. Um, and if you want to see more cool videos, we got them. There's some here that'll tell you about what our drone channel's about and more reviews and things like that right here. Make sure you stay fly.